My adrenaline was so high at the time um, that I didn't even know what I was doing. All I knew was I had to keep going, I had to move, and I had to get him out this gate. Well, it was no ordinary encounter at a West Side Park for Marquel White, the Savannah man, coming face to face with an alligator. This morning, his interaction with that gator going viral. Now, of course, seeing alligators here in Southeast Georgia and the South Carolina Low Country, nothing new. In fact, it's actually pretty common. Yeah, but when a Savannah man spotted one gator inside an enclosed playground in a park on the west side, he decided to take action. I was able to come around this tree, grab his tail, and once I grabbed his tail, it was no stopping. I had to get him out that fence. He's the Savannah man who caught a gator by the tail. I've never been that close to an alligator. I've never touched an alligator in my life. I've never even heard the hissing that an alligator make until that day. Marquell White was out for a morning workout at Bowles Ford Park on the west side when he stumbled across an unwelcome guest, a seven foot alligator. Uh, I didn't know he was that big when I grabbed him. The gator hiding in the high grass inside the park's fenced in playground. White, not wanting anyone to be attacked or surprised by the gator, took matters into his own hands. So I was like, man, he got to come up out of there. I, I noticed that gator two weeks ago floating in the water. I didn't know he could come up here, but so I just had to get him from behind that uh, swing set there. In this now viral video, you can see White grabbing the gator by its tail, dragging it hundreds of feet, and then releasing it near the park's pond. A three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old pain in this park can have their life cut short just because of a gator. So if I didn't do it, somebody probably would have, but why wait? and I can do it now. Since this incident, a professional trapper has removed the gator and city of Savannah crews have begun cleaning up the area. Marquell White hopes even more will be done to ensure a safe place for folks to enjoy. I'm glad it's a start, uh, like we need more. Uh, this park is still unkept, um, still have lackluster toys to play with for the kids and stuff like that. So it need to be a better park. It need to be a better situation. It need to look better, it need to feel better um, because our kids are, our kids matter also. Now White told me he understands what he did was dangerous, yeah. but he said if he was faced with that situation again, he would do the exact same thing. He just wants to make sure that everyone is safe and no one is blindsided mm -hmm. or hurt when they're out there enjoying the park. He is brave. Tell you what, he's gone viral, and again, uh, you know, it's not every day you have that kind of interaction. And again, in a lot of places, that's against the law. Mm -hmm. But again, it wasn't a park, and it was an yeah. enclosed area, so some are hailing him as a hero this morning. Yeah, he, as they should, and thankfully everything turned out just fine. Exactly. A time check right now, it is a 554.